Hey, welcome to the second installment of Physics is Easy. Very easy. And to the blueprint. Okay, now we will be understanding what an equation is and what it implies. There are quite a few tricks that can be devised since uh, we know that an equation is a statement of equality. So, as we already know, whatever is on the left side must be equal to whatever is on the right side. So, the symbols cannot have any values that you can dream of, you know, they cannot be arbitrary, you know, if the algebraic equation is to, is to be true. So, you know, uh, to solve an equation is to find the possible values of these symbols. Okay, so for example, uh, in this uh, equation here, the x must be 30 because only when it is 30, you know, that the equation is a true statement. If uh, x uh, happens to be any other number, obviously, you know, the equation is wrong. So, uh, you know, uh, the tricks or procedures that we're about to learn, you know, on how to solve an equation, are all based on the principle that both sides must be equal. So, any operation done on one side of an equation must be done on the other side as well. Thus, an equation is still valid when, for example, the same quantity is added, subtracted to both sides, or multiplied or divided to both sides. So, from that, we have two helpful procedures. You know, from that principle, we can derive two helpful procedures to help us solve an equation. Okay, first one. Any symbol or number can be inverted to the other side by changing its sign. This is more known as transposing, but what is that, right? So, it is inverting. You take a number from one side and put it on the other side. And, of course, that will change its sign since you're inverting, you know, the number. So, if we have, for example, A plus B equals C, you know, if, you, if we move the B to the other side, since it, it was originally a positive number, we, we move it to the other side, then we have A equals C minus B. So the B now it's a negative number or a symbol. And now starting with a negative number or symbol, uh, we for example in A minus D equals E, we take the D since uh, it's a negative number and we put it on the other side, we'll have A equals E plus D. Uh, you know on the other side now D it's a positive number. And in a bit, I'll show you how changing the sides, uh, you know, inverting the numbers or transposing, if you will, will not change the equality, you know, the equality of the equation. It, it will remain as an equation, as a true equation. And this is not only done, you know, with minus and plus signs. This can also be done with uh, multiplication and division. So, this is the second procedure. Quantity that multiplies one side of an equation can be inverted, you know, since, uh, you know, the reverse of multiplication is a division, you know, the quantity can be inverted so as to divide the other side. So, you if when you move an, a multiplication on to the other side, it will turn into a division, or vice versa. So, for example, if AB equals C, by a b uh, we mean a uh, times b so if we take the b from a b to the other side we will have a equals c divided by b and if we have a divided by d equals e uh, and we move the d to the other side then we'll have a equals d times e or de another uh, cool example of that is when for example when we have on each side of the equation two uh, divisions or two fractions you know in order to get rid of the fractions and so simplify it simplify the equation we have to invert the two fraction the two fractions into two multiplications so that is we take the lower part of each fraction the the denominator and multiply to the upper part the numerator of the fraction on, on the other side. So uh, as a bonus, here is an example to show you that the equality holds. For example, in this case here, we have 16 divided by 4, which is 4. And then on the other side, we have 32 divided by 8, which is 4 as well. So um, 
when we cross multiply we can see that uh, you know that the multiplications are equal as well okay now that we've learned all that uh, let's uh, you know let's put it all to practice and see if we can handle an actual equation so uh, here we have an equation it reads 5 divided by a plus 2 equals 3 divided by a minus 2 so since we have two fractions or divisions here on both sides of the equation let's cross multiply you know to simplify the whole thing and save us a lot of trouble so we're gonna take the lower parts of the fraction on the left side that is a plus 2 and we are gonna uh, multiply that by the upper part of the fraction on the right side so we're gonna have 5 equals uh, 3 times a plus 2 divided by a minus 2 we're gonna now take the you know on the fraction on the right side we're gonna take its lower part that is a minus 2 we're gonna multiply that by 5 and the end result will have 5 times a minus 2 equals 3 times a plus 2 after that you know after simplifying the equation by doing the cross multiplication let's simplify it further by getting rid of the parentheses that we got so uh, since inside the parentheses we have uh, a subtraction and, and uh, an addition and since we can you know we can subtract or you know or add you know a number and uh, and a symbol let's get rid of, of the parentheses by doing the multiplication in this case so let's uh, for example let's uh, multiply 5 by the stuff in, in, in the parentheses so it's 5 times a which is 5a minus 5 uh, times 2 which is 10 and the under, on the other side we do the same thing so 3 times a equals 3a plus 3 times 2 which is 6 so then we have 5a minus 10 equals 3a plus 6 like in this case uh, we don't know the value of a you know so uh, let's put it all the a's that we have you know let's put all the a's on one side so we can know its value on the other side so let's put uh, 3a on the left side as well and move all the numbers from you know from the left side to the right side let's keep all the numbers on the right side and all the you know the symbols on the left side you know so we can know the values of the symbols in this case the value of a okay so we have 5a minus 3a equals uh, 6 plus 10 so let's do the operations here uh, 5a uh, minus 3a it's 2a uh, and 6 plus 10 uh, equals 16 so we have 2a equals 16 so the next step that we have to do since we still have uh, a number on the left side so we're gonna take the 2 that multiplies by a and move it to the other side to divide 16 by you know by the 2 so that uh, makes it a equals 8 since uh, 16 divided by 2 equals 8 and we've reached the solution of our equation here uh, now that we're done with that next you know to further increase our skills here we will learn ways to abbreviate numbers so they are more easy to read and make things even easier that is we will learn about exponents and powers of 10 so stay tuned for the next installment